Hey good everyone, for the first time I've made a DIY fan driven RC car and I'm ready to show you how it works, so stick till the end. I began by taking two bottle tops for one particular wheel. I marked the center of it, thanks to the little dot in the middle, and I used a super glue to stick one to the other. I just thought about a random design of the car body and just began drawing on a piece of cardboard and also cutting it out. I used a solder iron to make the holes on the bottle tops ensuring that the holes are big enough for a barbecue stick to spin freely when it's passed through. For the steering mechanism, I used a bent piece of a cardboard, a very thin layered cardboard, and on the center of the bend, I made a little hole using a driller. Take a long screw and pass it all the way through the bottle tops as well as the cardboard piece. That screw must be stuck to the cardboard piece using some hot glue and the wheel must spin freely. To attach the steering wheels to the car body, I've used a screw and a nut. It is important to not stick the steering wheel so tightly to the body because friction will avoid the car from steering freely. For the rear wheels, I've used a drinking straw and stuck it underneath the car body and made sure that the barbecue stick when passed through it can spin freely. I faced a situation where the bumper area of the car was making contact with the ground because the wheels were too small. So I modified the wheels like this. To do this, you need to take a long piece of cardboard and you want to remove one layer from it. And then apply some hot glue onto that layer and stick it around the wheels. Next, I set up my steering mechanism in such a way 
so that they can be controlled by two servos. The specifications for these electronics used are included in the description box, so be sure to check it out. I used a few popsicle sticks to make the motor mount and it needs to be high enough for the motor because the propeller should not make any contact when revolving. With that done, it is finally time to give it a test. As you guys can see, the performance is not really good. The car struggles to um, make turns and um, because of the fan driven system, it's a bit challenging to make the turns. The wheels also do not have any grip with the floor. All the electronics are functioning absolutely fine, the motor is also being able to thrust the car forward. Although I've added some additional height for the car wheels, the bumper area of the car still makes some contact with the ground, so when the car moves forward, there's still friction going on. One big problem with this model is that the cardboard piece that connects the front wheels to the body is very weak, so it prevents the car from moving forward very freely as it makes contact with the ground. Therefore, on my next project, I'll need to ensure that this particular piece is very rigid and firm. To sum up, I am satisfied by the first attempt on this DIY RC car, and I'm glad that I know the areas that I need to work on so that my next project can be much improved.